Plenty of crazy stuff happens on film and TV sets. Insane accidents, romances, and million dollar disputes aren't uncommon. But did you know that encounters with poisonous animals on set occur too? And probably more often than you'd think. Let's take a look at five of the creepiest stories about poisonous animals on set. The crew member who almost lost an arm from a spider bite. Remember Rust? The film where Alec Baldwin accidentally and tragically shot dead the cinematographer on set? Well, that's not the only calamity that happened during filming. While packing down the set, a lamp operator and rigger named Jason Miller was bitten by a brown recluse spider. The brown recluse is one of the three most venomous and deadly spiders in the USA, and it turned out to be pretty dangerous for Miller. Not long after the bite, the state of his arm forced him to head straight to the hospital in order to get heavy medical care. Let's hope none of us come face to face with a brown recluse. The bees in the original Candyman film were absolutely real and Tony Todd received a bonus every stint. When Candyman was made in 1992, CGI was definitely not what it is now. A bunch of scenes featured bees and without special effects. Yep, they had to use real honeybees. Pheromones were sprayed to keep the actors safe, which usually prevents bees from stinging. In one particularly horrifying scene, Tony Todd, the lead actor, had to use dental dam to keep his throat safe when the bees poured out of his mouth. Yep, they literally put bees in his mouth. Gross. Despite the measures taken by the crew, Tony was still stung by the bees. 23 times. Seeing an opportunity to make some money, he requested $1,000 for every bee sting, and he got it. He sounds like quite the businessman if you ask me. Would you take the deal? 450 real snakes were used in snakes on a plane. Snakes on a plane is not only iconic, but mostly conjured out fears of flying none of us ever knew we had. The film depicted roughly 30 different types of snakes terrorizing the poor passengers, including pythons and rattlesnakes. But they actually used more than 450 real snakes in the making of the film. You'll be pleased to know, though, that docile milk snakes and corn snakes were used to depict deadly species like the tape. Head. Samuel L. Jackson wasn't a fan of these methods. He had a clause written in his contract that kept any snakes at least 8 meters away. We think we'd do the same. Home Alone actor Daniel Stern assumed a fake spider would be used, but instead went face to face with a real tarantula. The famous tarantula scene in Home Alone is both hilarious and disgusting. It was certainly more the latter for actor Daniel Stern, who assumed the mechanical tarantula was to be used. But when Barry the Tarantula was brought to set, Stern realized they'd be using the genuine article. Much to Stern's horror, Barry still had all of his venom, and when Barry crawled over Stern's face during that scene, even if nothing happened, his scream was very much real. The spiders in Arachnophobia weren't as scary as they looked. Well, most of them. This film struck fear into the hearts of people around the world, but the on-screen stars weren't as dangerous as they looked. In fact, the small spiders were Avondale spiders, completely harmless but posing a fierce appearance. They were provided by the Land Care Research in New Zealand, but sadly they weren't able to return home after filming thanks to quarantine rules. However, not all the eight-legged stars were so chill. You see, the big spiders were actually bird-eating tarantulas. With a leg span of up to 8 inches, these can be pretty harmful, even to humans. Yep, imagine that crawling onto your bed. Freaky, right? With that, thanks for watching and be sure to follow us for more spine-chilling series.